what's up, what's up, y'all? And welcome back to the Greatest Cigar Review Channel on YouTube with your host, Enoch, the Cigar Emperor. And today, y'all see this, man, this beautiful Perfecto. This is a beautiful cigar. Today, I'm back with the 1926 Padron, 80 years anniversary, y'all. The shape Perfecto, the length is like six and three quarters. It's a 54 ring gauge, man. This is a beautiful cigar. I've smoked plenty of these over the years. I've never really seen a bad review on it. I think I seen one bad review on it some years ago, but I believe that guy was probably high on crack or something. But uh, for the most part, man, this is a beautiful cigar. This is one of the best Padrones have to offer. Like besides my 1964 exclusive O Maduro, this is a Cuban seeded wrapper, all Nicaraguan filler binder, etc. But man, listen. Just the shape and the feel of it, the smell of it, the 80 years, man, perfecto. Just looking at it, man, I mean, it's just a beautiful cigar, man. Um, I'm going to do two reviews today, matter of fact. I'm going to do a review on this beautiful Padron 80 years anniversary, but I'm also going to do a review on one of my favorite opuses, which is the opus Oso Oscuro Perfection. This is a beautiful, ah, uh, yes. This is a beautiful Opus X as well by Toro Fuente. So I'm going to be doing both of these today. But uh, but first, the Padron. Listen, y'all. Let me straighten this up a little bit. Listen, y'all. This is a beautiful smoking cigar. It is beautiful. You see that, that those in right there? Some people cut off some of the foot and light it. But I don't do that. I don't do that. I just cut off the torpedo end of the cap. Don't Like I always say, don't cut too far in the head. And then I just light the foot and go from there. I don't I don't cut off nothing. I just light it, man. So we finna get to it, man. You know, we're going to get to it, you know, and see what's going on, you know. And we're gonna light this thing on up, man, because I want to get off into this flavor profile on this first third. And let y'all know what's going on with it. So as I say, I'm just gonna light it. I'm not gonna uh, cut off nothing. Toast that thing up a little bit, you know what I mean? Take a little more off that. A little tightening. You know Padron is not a tight draw. So. Mm-hmm. And we're off. Off the rip, man. Uh, I'm getting what Padron is always famous for, and that's that cocoa bean flavor off the rip. That 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 slight undertone of chocolate. Definitely the, the cocoa bean. A little coffee. A little spice off the rip, but not heavy on the spice. This hits you with a little more spice than most Padrones do in the first third. But it's like, it's flavored in with a great, like I say, cocoa bean, chocolate taste, and just the feel of the cigar, man. This, 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 this Perfecto shape, it's just beautiful, man. It usually retails <laughs> at around thirty dollars or more. Some people ask, "Do I think it's worth? Is it a thirty dollars stick?" I would say sometimes yes, sometimes no, depending on how I'm feeling. Sometimes I smoke the eighty and I'm always be real with y'all. Sometimes I smoke the Pajon eighty, and everybody know Pajon is my favorite brand. But sometimes I might smoke the eighty years. Sometimes I just feel like a twenty dollars stick. I don't always feel like a thirty dollars stick. That's the same thing I say about some of the opuses. All the opuses are not on the same level, man. You know, my favorite opus is like the Phantom, uh, Lancera, the Opus Shark. You know, a lot of other opus, you know, I just don't, I never, I don't, I don't think a lot of them are worth what they're selling them for. But hey, I respect those families and what they feel like their price should be. 
because I have been down to the tab, uh, the Tabo Calera in Dominican Republic with the Fuente family, and I see how much work they put into their actual brand. So I pay for what I like, man. I'm getting good taste in this first third. Great taste. I mean, it's what I expect from Padron. Like I said, man, I seen one out of all my years of this particular Padron, the 80 years, I've seen one bad review, and I think that dude probably was high. He probably had smoked too many cigars. And not only am I pairing it with a good cup of coffee. I'm also going to be pairing this thing with some Hershey Hole almonds. Brought to you by me. Okay. Uh, like I say, man, this first third is lovely right now. I, I, I'm getting good flavor profiles. Uh, I'm loving the flavor, the flavor profiles I'm getting from it right now. I'm getting the cocoa bean. Uh, let me see that chocolate tool. Why not? But I'm getting a cocoa bean. Definitely some uh, toast, a lot of toast. Go good with the Hershey too. Go wonderful. But yeah, I'm getting a lot of toast. It's smooth, not overbearing. Mm, I guess I say medium, medium smoke. But I just love the Vitola, man. I love the the shape of it. Look at how beautiful it is. Look at that smoke, man. I love the shape of this, man. It's a beautiful crafted cigar. I have no complaints, y'all. So I'm going to see y'all in the second third, man. Y'all catch y'all back in the second third. Okay. I'm back in my second third of this beautiful Padron 1926, 80 years. And... I'm still getting that base, that coffee bean base, that cocoa bean taste. Real toasty now. The spice kind of left a little bit. The, the the spice that I actually got from the first third, I don't really. I got a little bit at the, at the top of my mouth, but not a lot. When I retroheld it, I did retroheld it off of camera. And when you retroheld, you I got a little more spice. Um, I taste a lot of more spice when I retroheld it. But other than the retro hell, I'm still getting, yeah, good toast flavors, good coffee, chocolate type, earth tone flavors from this cigar. And those of you who know me and have been following my channel, y'all know I love history of the cigar, especially the ones I review. And you know Padron is my favorite brand. Uh, but the 80 years and all of the numbers just represent something in the founder's life, Arturo Fuente. So this basically just represented 80 years from his birth. He was born in 1926, and this is where we get to 1926 from because he was born in Cuba in 1926. 1964 Padrones are, is when he actually started the company uh, full-fledged in Miami, Florida in 1964 with the hammer. And the hammer, of course, represents the work he did to get his family out of poverty, which was carpentry. He took a carpentry, a carpentry job. And that's how he got his business going, man. Hard work pays off. But 80 is just representing when he turned 80. Uh, which was 2006. Uh, so these that is when these came out, 2006. And uh, I didn't smoke these when they first came out, 2006, 2007. I think my first time smoking one of these was maybe 2014 or 15. But I, so some of the older heads that I came up under, they say when they first smoked these, 
I think it's supposed to be like aged or something. They say it wasn't really strong. But a lot of the old cigar heads, excuse my camera keep moving. Cause y'all know I, I use my phone, I have my iPhone. I don't like to bring my laptop out here a lot. I need to start back bringing it. But a lot of the old heads say it wasn't strong, but they say when they smoked it like years later, it was a, a much better age to go. And I would say this about Padron. Um, Padrones are one of the brands that if you really want to get the full taste out, you really do have to, if it's not already just a long age cigar from Padron, a lot of the times you just have to be patient with them even after you purchase them and just put them in your humi for at least another couple of months, few months. Uh, I've had this for about, uh, about seven months. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's already been aged, but still. But I'm just giving y'all just a little heads up on Padron, which is still, I think, the best brand in the world. But a lot of times you have to age these. Like a lot of times when I buy, like say some of the uh, Davidoffs or some of my Cuban uh, Trinidads, I can just smoke them straight up. I ain't got to age them a lot. And they just bust some, some, some cigars do that. Some cigars just bust you right in the mouth with the taste, with the, with the flavor profile off the rip. But Padron, if you really want to get a full taste, this is just my experience for the years I've been smoking Padron. Uh, age them a little bit more in your in your humidor. Ooh, that's nice. And you'll see what I'm saying. Y'all, you, you will see the difference. I know some people ain't got the patience to do that. I know a lot of people just want to buy their cigars when they buy their cigars from their from their stores or their shops, or their BMM, uh, B and M's. They want to go ahead and get in. I get it. That's why I keep a lot of cigars, and I keep track of my cigars. And uh, and usually what I try to do, I try to actually, you know, let me put this here so that it'd be better. Okay, put that right there. Y'all don't mind. Okay. Um, what I try to do, I try to keep me some six and seven months ahead of the ones I want to smoke. So like if I want some 80 years, I try to find me some 80 years and I'll, I'll let them sit in my humidor for six, seven months. And then I'll buy some more right around that time. So the ones that I'm about to smoke, they'll last me six, seven months. Sometimes, I don't, I don't know why I just lie like that, but they'll, they'll last enough for me to have that gap in between where I can age more in my humidor. Usually my Padrones don't last, but this second third is beautiful, y'all. Look at that. And the ash just came up one time, I was about 25 minutes in, and it got a nice burn to it, man. Nice, beautiful ash, as you tell. Which all the Padron <coughs> burns beautiful to me, though. So like I say, only thing I've lost is a little spice. So a lot of you guys that love high pepper, you won't get a lot of that from this. You have some people that love a lot of spice. Some people don't. Like me, I like an in-between. I like spice. I like pepper. But not a lot of harsh black pepper on my on my uh on my smokes. But this is a great cigar. And so I'm just going to see what it's going to hit like in the, in the last third. And I'm going to let y'all know. So I'll see y'all in the last third. Okay. <clears throat> I've taken a band off. The little band off. The 80 years. So now I'm in my last third. Ash fell off again. I think I knocked it off. I don't know. Might have set it down in my uh, ash trail alone. I mean, a little hard. But as of right now, some of the coffee bean the flavors kind of left a little bit. And the third, it became milder. Uh, definitely not getting as much as the, uh, of the, uh, of the spice. I'm still getting some toasty flavors. Usually the third, you miss a lot anyway, but. A little spice on my tongue, but not a lot. Still a beautiful burn, though, as you can see. But all in all, man, I will have to rate this cigar. I will give it a 93. 94. 
Like I said, it's not my favorite Padron, but it's it's up there. It's top three, no doubt. For those of you who like Padron or want to get into Padron, this is still a good one to get, man. This 1926, 80 years is great. Um, like I say, you ever get a chance, get the 1964 exclusive or Maduro or the natural, either one. They're both great cigars, man. So, yeah. That's my take on the 1926, 80 years Maduro. Um... If y'all checked out my channel, I've done so many reviews on different Padrones, on the 45 years, on on the 50 years anniversary. I love the anniversary is definitely the best Padron has to offer. And to me, the anniversary is like the best cigars in the world, period. So a lot of times, I can only compare Padron to Padron. I do love the Opus X, and everybody knows that. Definitely love my Opus. I have... So many Opus left. I have a lot of Opus. Um, but uh, for the most part, like I say, everybody knows, Padron and Opus are my favorite. Turf Fuente, them, those are my top two. And my Cubans, I love my Cubans. Trinidad is probably one of my favorite Cuban brands. I also love the, the Hoyo uh, D uh, Monterey. I love that brand. As far as the Cubans, those guys are asking me about the Cubans. Um... The Trinidad, the, my my favorite Trinidad would probably be the Vigia. But I also love the Monte Cristo uh, Cubans too. I don't too tough care for the non-Cuban Monte Cristos, but the Cuban Monte Cristos are a lot stronger, a lot of more full body. Um, I say Trinidad is probably my favorite. Uh, I like the Cahiba. Only Cahiba uh, Cuban that I really like is the Bahiki, the 54. I love the 54 ring size. I think the 54 smokes a little better, more flavor profile than the 56 Cahiba. If y'all ever get the authentic Cuban Cahiba, and I hope y'all know how to look out for the fake, because a lot of Cahiba is one of the most uh, copycatted, faked out brands it is. I mean, you go to Mexico, you go all over where you might think, even Cuba, you can go to Cuba and get faked out with not only Cahiba brands. So be careful. A lot of you who like to travel and you go into like, Places like Dominican Republic too, or, or Costa Rica, Mexico, specifically Mexico. You you basically 99% of the time you're gonna get fake Cubans, fake Cubans. Period. So be careful with that. And uh, anybody needs some real sites. Uh, if you like Cubans, if you like Habanas, real Habanas, I got some real authentic sites that me and my crew we've been vetting for years. So. Uh, We're dedicated to telling y'all who fake and who not. So, if you want to know, man, just ask me. I'll tell you. I'll send you the links to the real Cuban online cigars. Because there's a lot of fakes out there, man. Uh, but, hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this review, man. Like I say, I've lost a little flavor. I'm still going to smoke it down to the nub. I don't care. Uh, expensive cigar. It's over $30 a stick, so... Hey, you know you buy what you want. You buy what you like. So, man, I'll see y'all on the next review, man. And uh, y'all got any comments, man, please hit the like button. Share it. Share my videos if you like. Uh, but definitely, man, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And, uh, man, I will see y'all on the next review. I'm Enoch the Cigar Emperor. I'm out. Peace.